So you can see in the email below that the person jumped on the scale and completely kind of her house of cards of joy fell down. So what that shows us is a great opportunity for her and for all of us to make sure we've tapped it down to neutral because the irony of life is it's when you stop wanting something that you open the door to actually having it. So tapping is about taking away all willpower. This isn't about being stronger than it. It's not about having willpower. It's about tapping it away until those emotions are completely neutral. And that's when we can actually have something. We're no longer wanting it. So we're going to use this opportunity to tap right here. And go ahead and start with the karate chop point and the eyebrow, outside of eyebrow. And one way, while I'm talking, one way I've heard a great description of tapping is that you can think of it like a tree. You've got the roots of the tree, you've got the trunk, you've got the limbs, and then you've got the leaves. So when it comes to a thought or an emotion, we might want to think, oh, we're going to grab that tree out by the roots, just rip it out and get rid of these, these thoughts. But actually, sometimes if you work on the little leaves, it's easier to work backwards and then onto the branches and the, those thoughts, and those are going to lead you down into the roots system. So don't feel like you have to grab, you know, go back to your innermost demons and pull those things out by the roots. You can start with the little things that seem unimportant. Okay? So, karate chop point. Even though that scale still has power over me, even though that scale still has power over me, I accept myself deeply and completely anyway. Even though I got on that scale and it still affected me, I let that scale control my day again. I accept myself deeply and completely anyway. Negatives. I got on that scale. I got on that scale. Even though I was feeling really good about myself, I let that number change how I felt. I gave my power away. I gave my power away to a piece of metal on the ground. Three weeks of hard work and I gave it all away in that moment. I was feeling great and when I feel great that's when I can change. When I feel great and I feel different than I ever have. We're gonna go negative positive now. Gave my power away. I can take it back. I gave it away, but I can take it back. I gave it away. It's my power, I'm the boss, and I take it back now. That scale doesn't own me. That scale doesn't own me. Good. Nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. All positives now. It's my power. I'm the boss. I got myself to that good feeling place once. That means I know how to do it again. And this time I'm stronger. Because this time that scale is not going to do that to me. I can't be sideswiped again. Because I truly am the boss. That was a great opportunity. I'm actually really glad that happened. I realized there was more to bubble up. Now I've pulled it out by the root system. <laughs> it can't do it again. I love myself. And I am perfect now. Good. Nice deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. So, you know a tapping session has gone perfectly when you feel completely neutral. So don't you ever step on a st scale until you have tapped it away to you could care less what the number on that scale is then you know you've gotten there. This works with everything in life. It's only when you no longer want it that you're actually going to have it. I didn't make the rules, guys. Have a great day.